Many settings and accessibility functions and features exist on Chromebooks. In this series, we're going to dive into how they can support student learning. In this video, we're going to take a look at some additional accessibility features on the Chromebook that can really help students navigate digital environments. So let's head back down to our clock and click on it, open up our system menu, and head up to accessibility. I'm going to scroll down past some of these and get to the additional settings. The ones that I want to focus on are the large mouse cursor, the highlight text caret, the highlight mouse cursor, and the highlight object with keyboard focus. So anytime that one of these is, quote, turned on, you do that by clicking on it, and you'll notice that there is a check mark inside of a circle. So I'm going to turn this one off, and we're going to start with the large mouse cursor. So take a look at my mouse cursor right now. This is what it looks like. If I select large mouse cursor, now this is my mouse. I will tell you that from having worked with a woman who can only see out of one eye, for example, this helped her tremendously be able to figure out where her mouse was on her screen. Likewise, when I was a kindergarten teacher, this helped my little guys be able to, again, find where that mouse is. So that's the large mouse cursor. Another wonderful one is the highlight text caret. So let's take a look at what that does. If I come here to a Google Chrome window and I come and I start to click, look what happens. I'm getting this red circle wherever I click. So that is an option then as well. So let's go in and take a look at the other ones. So that's highlight text caret. I'll turn that one off. Highlight mouse cursor. So once again now, as I move my mouse around, I get a red circle around it. So that'd be another way to really highlight where your mouse is. So you do, it does fade away when you're not touching your mouse. And then as you touch the trackpad again, it comes back. So that's a nice feature as well. And then lastly, highlight object with keyboard focus. If I click here, look at what I get. So I get that whole like orange kind of rounded rectangle that shows where I'm about to start to type. So just like with some of the other features that we've explored, this is definitely something that I suggest getting in and playing with. So as a teacher yourself, just get in and explore, play with it, see what you like, and then you'll know your students that are going to benefit from this. Keep in mind that even kids that maybe you don't identify as having a specific need um, may actually really benefit from this and they may not realize it, you may not realize it until they start utilizing some of these additional settings like the large mouse cursor. It may just make it so that it's easier for them to navigate the digital environments in which we expect them to learn and grow and it may just be a wonderful way to provide some additional support and differentiation for your students.